Scientists try to answer questions that are beyond the comprehension of most people. They spend years gaining qualifications and then spend their lives wrestling with questions that most of us couldn't begin to understand. Even then, there are often times when they can't come up with satisfactory answers. This video is all about incredible discoveries that have left them with problems they can't solve. Getting too close to the sun would be an incredibly bad idea. It's so hot that nothing could survive in close proximity to the star for very long. And yet it seems that something has. In April 2020, the presence of a strange black triangle-shaped object hovering close to the sun was detected, and it's stayed in the same place ever since. The fact that it's lasted so long and doesn't appear to be moving means it's highly unlikely to be a sunspot. So, what else might it be? Star Trek fans have joked about it being a Borg cube, but we think we can all rule that idea out. It's the wrong shape for a start. Astronomer Scott C. Waring says that the sun rotates beneath the unexplained object, so it's not attached to the surface of the star. The fact that it's black is also a mystery, as anything so close to the sun's surface should be blazing hot and show up as white in these images. Alien conspiracy theorists believe it's a spaceship. That's extremely unlikely, and yet it can't be ruled out on the grounds that we don't currently have a better explanation. If you have an interest in all things space-related, you might remember the interstellar object known as Umaumau, which cruised past Earth at high speed in 2017. Even at the time, there was speculation that the cigar-shaped object might not have a natural origin. And although scientists were quick to say it was a comet at the time, there are still questions about it that haven't been answered. Comets have tails. Umaumau did not. It could also have been a harmless piece of interstellar rock like an asteroid, but that doesn't seem right either. Analysis of the speed at which it passed the Earth shows that it was moving faster than it ought to have been if the only force acting on it was the gravity of the Sun. That suggests that something else was accelerating it. Again, this could normally be explained by a cometary tail, which provides a rocket-like effect, but not in this instance. Harvard professor Avi Loeb and his colleagues at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have proposed that the unusually shiny object may actually have been a light sail of artificial origin. That's an incredible thing for a respected academic to say, and yet scientists don't seem to want to hear it. Most people don't believe in Bigfoot. Although there have been several tales of huge ape-like creatures living in the forests of North America over the years, no compelling evidence of their existence has ever been found, or has it? In February 2020, two hikers out walking in the woods of Salt Fork State Park in Ohio captured this video footage of what they claim to be a Sasquatch walking between the trees. The park is a hot spot for Bigfoot sightings, with more than 30 reported since the 1980s. The hikers claim to have been led to this point in the forest by following a trail of deer bones. They also report having heard several strange noises as they approached the creature, although the best of the footage they've captured was taken by a drone because they didn't dare get any closer. We should point out that the connection between these Ohio woods and the Bigfoot legend makes the location a great place to go if you want to shoot a fake Bigfoot video, and the creature we can see here might just be someone in a gorilla suit. But the hikers are adamant that they're telling the truth. Right now, NASA's Perseverance rover is on Mars, taking better pictures of the Martian surface than we've ever seen before. Perhaps it will eventually shed light on something that its predecessor, the Curiosity rover, spotted in 2016. On July 21st of that year, the rover sent home a picture that appears to show a cylindrical object laying on its side. It stands out from the stones and rocks around it and seems to be covered with either tiles or rectangular panels. Put simply, it appears to be an object that has artificial origins. It looks more than a little like the kind of sea mine that was used during the Second World War. 
NASA says that the image is of low quality and slightly blurred, and so this is nothing more interesting than a large rock, but not everybody is convinced. The picture looks pretty clear to us, and while we think it looks more like a barrel than a sea mine, it could well be artificial. Perhaps it's a leftover from a previous mission to Mars, or perhaps it's something else entirely. If NASA could direct Perseverance to go and take a look at the same area with its high-definition camera, we'd be very grateful. Sightings of strange lights in the sky are how many science fiction stories start, and yet sometimes they appear for real. A collection of glowing orbs appeared above the East Valley of Mesa, Arizona, USA in December 2019 and was captured by dozens of citizens with phone cameras. In the more detailed videos, the lights appear to drop glowing flare-like objects toward the ground and also move up and down in what looks like a controlled fashion. The Federal Aviation Administration was made aware of the incident and reviewed the footage, but was unable to provide an explanation. There were also several other reports of glowing orbs appearing in the skies above several American cities on the same day, and they were also caught on camera. All the usual excuses have been rolled out, from swamp gas to military planes and parachute flares, but none of them appear to be a good match for what we can clearly see in the footage. What's the real story behind these unusual lights? If the Federal Aviation Administration can't explain them and nor can the Army National Guard, shouldn't we be more interested in finding the truth? Thanks to a phenomenon known as pareidolia, humans have a habit of seeing faces where no faces exist. This is why people sometimes say they can see a man on the moon, or the face of Jesus in a piece of burned toast. Could that phenomenon also explain the face that seems to glare back at us from the side of a cliff on Reeks Island in Canada's Pacific Rim National Park Reserve? Or did ancient humans carve this face in prehistoric times? Hank Gus of the Aboriginal Tsishat First Nation was told about the face by a tourist in 2015, who claimed to have seen it while sailing past in a kayak. Most people would have ignored the tourist, but Hank thought he seemed honest and trustworthy, so he set out in search of it. He eventually found it two years later. Interestingly, the seven-foot-tall face is similar to a wooden one carved into the front door of the Tishat administration office. Much to Hank's delight, it suggests a combination between the apparent monument and his own people. Scientists say that the face, which is almost impossible to reach by foot, is a natural formation in the rock. Hank disagrees. What do you think? Many ancient civilizations like to believe that they could predict the future. The Mayan calendar is famous for unsuccessfully predicting the end of the world in 2012, for example. Might there be more to be said for the 12 Haivanli Turk Takvimi calendar that was made 2,200 years ago by the Central Asian Turks? According to some researchers, it's so accurate that it even predicted the 2020 pandemic. There are 12 animals on the calendar, each of which represents a year. 2020, for example, was the year of the rat. Specific prophecies for 2020 include fires, earthquakes, locust infestations, and epidemics. You'll find fires, earthquakes, and locust infestations somewhere in the world every year, so there's nothing special about predicting those. But the epidemic prediction is far more precise. Although it seems like quite a long time ago now, you might also recall there was a great fire in Australia in early 2020, so believers in the calendar also claim that as evidence of its accuracy. The calendar also predicted that Kustibari, a plant, would prove to be the cure for the unspecified illness. Perhaps we should have given that a try instead of spending all this money on vaccines. Back in 2015, Russian excavators working in a mine in Siberia came across a bizarre, saucer-shaped object almost 200 feet below the ground. It looks like a textbook flying saucer in every way, except for the fact that it's far too small. 
Maybe aliens are tiny, and they think we're all giants. When the unexplained object was found in the mine in Siberia's Kuznitsk Basin, professional archaeologists were summoned to the scene. They believe it's a human-made object based on its shape and composition, but aren't able to offer any theories as to how old it is or where it might have come from. Mammoth bones have been found in the area at a lesser depth than the saucer-shaped object, though, so we can probably assume that it's been buried for several thousand years. We have no idea why human beings living thousands of years ago would build such a unique, almost perfectly circular object and then discard it in such a fashion. Even getting it to this location must have been a struggle, because it weighs over 400 pounds. There must be a good explanation for its existence, but we can't think of it. Thanks to Google Earth, we can now explore the surface of our planet in greater detail than ever before without leaving the comfort of our own homes. That's an enormous convenience, and it's a convenience that some authorities would rather we didn't have. In 2019, images of a mysterious series of structures in Antarctica went viral on social media, leading to speculation about what they could possibly be. Barely a month later, the images disappeared from Google Earth altogether. They were visible on the service from 2015 onward, but it seems that somebody somewhere didn't like the fact that they'd suddenly caught the world's attention and asked Google to black out the images. The sudden move toward secrecy implies that the structures are a military installation of some kind. But who owns it, and what goes on there? Why does it look so unlike any other military base on Earth? If it was a standard Antarctic research station, there would be no reason to hide it. So there must be something secretive happening here. It doesn't look like anyone's going to let us in on the secret anytime soon. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the world's best-known mysteries. Countless ships and planes have vanished or crashed in the area for unexplained reasons, and nobody's ever been able to explain why. Everything from unusual magnetic properties in the ground to alien abduction has been blamed for the Bermuda Triangle phenomenon. But in November 2019, a new and even stranger idea was proposed after a giant squid washed up on the beaches of St. Augustine in Florida, USA. Sailors who passed through the area successfully during the 17th and 18th centuries occasionally complained of being attacked by a giant sea creature, and it seems they may have been telling the truth. This squid carcass is over 200 feet long. It's the second such creature known as a cephalopod to wash up in the area. The first was found in 1896 and recovered by Yale University. Giant squids were also photographed in the area in 2005 as they attacked fishing lines. It seems entirely plausible that all those lost ships were victims of squid attacks. But that still wouldn't explain all of the missing planes. How could giant footprints exist more than two and a half miles below the surface of the ocean? We have no idea, but we know they're there because we have pictures of them. The footprint-like tracks are on the floor of the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and Mexico and defy science. Each of them is over six feet long and more than a foot deep. It would take something incredibly heavy to make indentations like this on the seabed, and we're not aware of any life form heavy enough that could survive at such a depth. The marks haven't been caused by any mining or research operation and are too large to have been made by any known species of fish. The footprint trail consists of over 3,000 prints, which are equally spaced and follow the same stride pattern that human footprints do. Without any other explanations to turn to, a study group from the National Oceanographic Center in Southampton, England, has suggested that the prints might have been made by sperm whales diving to extreme depths to scratch dead skin off their bodies on the rough ocean floor. That seems ludicrous, and they've yet to provide any supporting evidence. As unexplained discoveries go, the Potomsky Crater is a fairly big one. 
It's hard to miss this enormous depression on the Earth at Irkutsk, Siberia. Something obviously wrecked the ground here, but nobody knows what to blame for it. The limestone crust coupled with the ring-shaped depression suggests a meteor impact, but that doesn't seem right. The crater is barely 400 years old, and if an impact of this size had happened 400 years ago, there ought to be a record of it. An alternative idea is that a deep-lying pocket of natural gas punctured the surface of the ground with such force that it shattered the rock. That might be more plausible than a meteor strike, but there's still an unexplained oddity here. The trees that surround the crater grow far faster than the trees in the surrounding forest, even though they're the same species. That implies that the trees have been exposed to some form of radiation, and that doesn't tally with the gas explanation. It doesn't even necessarily tally with the meteor explanation. Something happened here, and it had a profound effect on the trees, but we have no idea what it was, and nor do scientists. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!